Hey guys, we have two $10 gift card giveaways going on, one on Twitch and one on YouTube. The YouTube one is going to have the code word, hashtag free Fortnite, one word. Subscribe, like, and comment, hashtag free Fortnite with the correct spelling on all the videos and the hashtag free Fortnite giveaway playlist for the best chance of winning. Contest ends when I reach 450 subscribers and I will be running a giveaway for every 50 subscribers. On Twitch, it's a monthly raffle where you can earn points for following, watching, and various other ways. Every 15 points gets you an entry. All you have to do is hit exclamation point enter for a ticket. You can enter as many times as you want. The winner will be drawn at the end of the month. Send me a video on Instagram or Twitter of you using code TTTOM in the Epic Item Shop. And when you purchase items, I'll match the amount of V-Bucks spent in points. So 100 V-Bucks equals 100 points. And battle passes are going to be doubled. So you'll get 2,000 points for that. So good luck and enjoy the video. Hey guys, uh, this video is going to be about the meta of the current game and mainly how to use it for arena, but you could apply most of these principles to say like, like a regular pub match or any anything you're playing, um, even if it's creative. But so it's basically just gonna go over what guns to kind of pair with each other and what when to take heals and when to keep whatever is important for surviving these current game modes. So let's get into it. So this is my arena course. I added this um, infantry rifle to the game. Just uh, kind of acts like the um, Stark rifle, the no bloom, and you can shoot it pretty quickly and everything like that. It doesn't have the the auto fire for hip fire, but we're gonna use it in place of the Stark rifle. So whenever I talk about the Stark rifle, that's the one. And here's my primary sort of loadout. I like to take a always a pump. You can use a charge gun if you're good with it, but. Um, I'm not good with it. It's just fact of life. <laughs> I'm not used to the timing yet. Um, if you like it, then sure. But if you find one of a higher rarity, like I've, you have find this gold, drop your purple, upgrade it for 60 total mats. It's always worth it, especially in arena, my opinion. This is the order I like my weapons in. So now you need a follow up to a, either one of these shotguns. So you have the Stark rifle, if you come across it, you have an AUG, which is probably the least efficient when it comes to spraying, spraying afterwards. Um, you have th this one, the, the SCAR, and you have the light machine gun, the LMG. So my preference in this situation is usually the SCAR for its follow-up. So you just bang, already pretty dead. So just like that, if you have better aim, I've I do this quite a bit too. So it's bang. It's not as quick. Um, so now you have this gun, which the LMG, you're doing the two gun setup. It works good. But if you need to do something far distance, it has first shot accuracy. So you could kind of use it like the um, Stark in that way with a couple bursts. So it's not terrible, but if you try full spraying it, moves all it moves all over the place so it's not the best for range but if you're not doing range then you don't need it next i like to have two heals i put these two here for two heals but because uh, i don't have this is the only heal i have in there so far but and at least one form of movement um even the peppers will work i can't pick them up i can't harvest them in here but you can do that or if you get the fish that allows you to jump you can use those instead whatever you like and it really helps having some bouncers, but you don't need them. So the last gun we're gonna talk about is the Stark Rifle. So what the Stark Rifle does, it's kind of acts like an SMG. So let's make, let me grab an SMG over here real quick. So if you ADS with it, you have those quick shots that are powerful and like that. And then when you don't hit fire, it kind of comes out like an SMG like that. So that's a great one. The only issue I have with it is the low ammo count of 15 shots. Um, so you, you run out pretty quickly, even that this has more shots. Um, so I like this, the scar for that reason. And then these are personal preference and also which one you find, because you're more likely to find crash pads and be able to stack six of them. And you know all like the little little tricks by now. You walk up to it, look up here, and fly fly away from their box. I think they purposely made it less consistent, but eventually you get it. Like you look up. 
All right, I just suck at this, I guess. So that's my my ideal loadout. I like to have the movement instead of and two heals, and then two guns. Next op option is if you're doing the shotgun, SMG, AR sort of situation, then the two heals. I'm gonna hold this grenade just to fill out so I don't keep auto picking stuff up. So you have some options here too. Um, really any of the ARs now work in this situation. You can use the burst, which is over here too. So you got the burst, you got the scar for your long range, even this one. I, they don't have the new purple one without the heat scope, so I use this but in its place. But yeah, so basically you could use that even because like if you don't have this and you're following up with the that one. First off, good luck hitting them if they're moving any bit whatsoever. Second, um, it's slow. <laughs> so anything else is better this is better this is better even uh, i would rather this gun because the accuracy afterwards so good so that would be even better than than that in for the for this section but i would still probably stay away from the pistol personally up to you um but any of these guns will work um Next option is you can replace this sniper with either your AR or your SMG, depending on your play style. So if you want to get rid of your long shots and keep this, and then you have like, you could snipe some people and whatever, then you're good. Um, but if you're not into that, you could always drop your SMG, keep it in and then pick up an AR, of some sort of rarity and use that as your SMG now. So that's that. The last section here is for some kind of oddball items. Drop all this stuff. Oh, and I also want to mention if you're doing this loadout, you definitely want to find bounce pads. Try to try your best to find them. Go for the supply drops. You're gonna want them at some point. All right. Last things. Grenades are still super strong. Um, they'll destroy builds. I think they might have nerfed them a little bit. Um, combat is almost not worth carrying and let's just do a little shop for shot comparison here what do we got 53 i think it's max damage yeah 53 max damage so you could hit it from here i think it's like two and a half tiles away you can still hit 53 there so 53 or 52 53 shotgun does a hundred body shot sorry i couldn't hit that hitting 62 which is more than the than the combat so from two and a half tiles away you're still hitting for more and like even like if you're 80 not a, if you're adsing and you have your the white dot on there you're still most likely going to hit a full shot that's a good example so 63 even if that white dot's on so that's your whole spacing for the most part even if you're a little bit to the side it's Usually, this, so it seems to favor the right side a little bit. Let's see. 75. 52. So it's, it's a little inconsistent, but this has a lot of aim assist also. And this one, it's pretty close to the same. So it's going to be a lot easier to hit your flex with this small reticle. Like, so, so where that shot it was like right here. So. See how close I have to be. See, that's still hit for 53. 74, I'm not even touching him technically. Let's try that again. So the hit boxes might be a little different. Both sides. Yeah. Don't have to hit perfectly with this gun either. See that? Not touching. So it's almost like the same as this one. You do have a little more leeway. I, I noticed that it like felt like the aim assist. Like I'm not even touching him with the thing and it's hitting for full 53. But yeah, that's it about this gun. So this gun's weird. So you can hit these far shots. Still hitting him for four, like without I'm barely even on him. Um so 
use it if you want i don't recommend it it's not as good as it used to be it still has a decent dps with 90. this has a 70 so damage per second um so yes yeah, do you if you want but i think it's kind of pointless and don't here's the thing to also keep in mind if you're low like you come out of a place you use all your ar ammo on somebody and you find like a blue pistol on the ground this thing first off let's do, do a little check out here let's see how many shots it takes with an ar versus a pistol two three four five fully broken two three four five six fully broken so takes one extra shot with the pistol you still have 16 shots this you have still have 19 shots and this thing beams that was like as fast as i could spray so it's there's definitely a big difference it's actually to even take a blue ar and go to check out blue, blue, blue versus blue because you're not always going to find a scar let's face it 33 26 52 49 so if you even hit these headshots you're destroying and you could you could beam this thing you have decent aim so don't sleep on the pistols either if you like you have 300 mini ammo Take the pistol over the blue AR. You see, it doesn't have full spray, but the thing shoots fast. So that's another option. Um, yeah, and let's end with like a little trick that you've probably seen already. We're gonna do it with both of these. So one is this. You, there's different ways to do it. You could. I like to do it like. Actually, let's do it this way since there's less space. Um, take that, throw it down there. Now you super jump. Um, let's see. I don't know if it works on this. Yeah, so same principle, super jump. You don't go as far with that, obviously, just the way it works. But you can do something with the crash pads like... Um, something like that going good see like right here i've hit it just flat I can send you a little further so the setup's not great but it's probably most likely you're best off going something like this it gets you just about as far but the other way works a little better and there's a couple other ways of doing it but like you could do wait i don't know if this works like this so yeah that does that it's not really worth it it just goes straight up this works better send you pretty far and that's about it so um if you guys like the video and want to come hang out in my twitch stream i stream every tuesday and friday um, around eight o'clock p.m um i also stream saturday and sunday like afternoons and nights so come check me out uh, turtle tron tom at tw twitch tv at turtle tron tom um i also do a lot of like late night streams so just check it out and um, I'm usually on late nights till like 2 a.m. or so. So if you like it, check it out. Um, go check out my other videos and, and uh, like and subscribe if you like it. And let me know what you want to see and if there's anything you want to go over and talk about different things like aim and building and whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it. So see you guys next time. Cars and paper plates Hate to say but I'm too old for